Hey, thanks for joining us. I'm with Colby Fayok, and he is the Director of Developer Experience Engineering at Cloudinary. If I could get all of that out, did I say it right, Colby? It's a mouthful, but you did it perfectly. All right. Also, a great content creator. If you're not following his YouTube channel, you need to do that. We're going to go over all the ways you can find Colby on the web here soon. So I'd like to start out with a few lighthearted questions, Colby, if you don't mind, like... What's what's your take? Now, this could be a hot take, but uh, pineapple on pizza or no? I'm all about it, but I have a little bit of a caveat. I like pineapple on pizza when there's jalapeno because it gives it that oh. sweet and spicy vibe. And it's just it's absolutely incredible. Nice. I am also in the pineapple camp. Hawaiian pizza style is one of my favorites. So. All good. So the next question I have, my daughter and I watch a lot of anime. Do you watch any anime? I don't watch as much as I used to, but I, I certainly have a few favorites and, you know, dabble here and there, depending on what's available. Um, oh, but what's I'd a, say my favorite? favorite. Give, give me a recommendation. Maybe I, I've asked a couple of times on Twitter. I get a lot of recommendations there, too. I say my two biggest favorites. One is Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, the other one is Samurai Champloo. Um but I'd say I don't know if it counts as uh, as an anime. It's probably more of a cartoon, but also Samurai Jack is really uh, my vibe. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Now, yeah. The other two I haven't watched yet, and I don't think my daughter has either. So I'm going to keep those on the list. Thank you very much. All yeah. right. What was your first code editor? Well, does Dreamweaver count? Um, I'd say that's probably Absolutely. the first one that I've really dug in on and started to play around, especially uh, in the MySpace days, odd enough, uh, where I would actually create my layouts inside of Dreamweaver. But when we're talking about like actually getting serious, Notepad++ was my, my first uh, real uh, code editor experience. Yes, and I don't remember how they were related, but I was a text pad guy back in the day. So I know it's okay, it's okay. similar. It had more features than the original notepad, which I, wow. <laughs> I also used. I, I don't know what my first was, honestly, but uh, it's, it's in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Now a little more serious question, but uh, a lot of my viewers and maybe some of yours on your channel too, they're beginners and they ask me for advice and you know, how should they start? What path should they take? And so on. But if you could only give one piece of advice to a beginner, what would it be? I really just build something. Uh, I think having practical experience is really the best way to learn. Like something I've been saying for a long time since I've started teaching is uh, the best way to learn is by doing. Um, so having something where you're just gaining that experience, whether it's just a fun side project or whatever it is, really helps you start to understand the concepts and how everything's connecting. Um, and it's so much more valuable than just spending time watching uh, our YouTube videos or something, which, you know, are super valued, but that time actually spent in the code editor is critical. Hey, I, I agree with you completely. And I'll add, you said, you know, in addition to watching our videos, I'm guessing just like me, a lot of our videos come out uh, from something we're building. And then we go, hey, let's, let's go ahead and make a video about this. Exactly. Uh, my latest video was how to style uh, active links in Next.js. And um, I created that video because I was working on a project where like I stumbled across it. And, you know, it's you know, once you realize the solution, it's it's pretty straightforward. But getting there uh, had a little bit of a, you know, something that I didn't really necessarily think of when trying to do it. So I thought that was something interesting and other people might stumble across that as well. So that's it's a good source when you're working on projects. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video. You may be surprised to learn that three out of every four viewers, nearly 75% of all people who watch my channel aren't subscribed. So I just wanted to take a quick second and remind you to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And if you really like my videos, you can get exclusive content and support my channel even more by joining my Patreon at patreon.com slash Dave Gray. Thanks for your consideration. And now back to the video. Okay, now we will talk about Cloudinary in just a moment because I know you're an expert there. But before we get to that, so I just need to exclude it from this question. What other technology has you excited in 2024, this new year? And there's all sorts of new things to talk about. But if you only picked one, what has you excited? Yeah, I, I'd say if I only had to pick one, let's go with Astro. I, I'm just excited about the future of the project. Um, you know, I've, I've been using Next.js for so long, and I, of course, love it. I even love, I think the app router is great, even though I, I'm still a Pages router fan in my heart. Um, but there's just a lot of awesome stuff that they're doing in the Astro project, and I'm excited to see how they keep pushing forward on that. 
I've heard so many good things. I do plan to cover that this year on my channel as well. I know uh, I yes. watched a presentation at that conference from Eddie Vink on the uh, Astro as well. And it's uh, nice. It's got uh, all the developers. We're all talking about it. So I, I definitely want to dive into that. Yeah, I think it's nice because it kind of comes and tackles the problems from a little bit of a different uh, point of view. So it's it's nice to have that, be able to have the different tools to solve the different problems for sure. Yeah, and now speak. That's a great segue because speaking of tools <laughs> to solve problems, what is Cloudinary about for those that don't know, and how can it help them in their applications? Yeah, so. Uh, if you think about images and videos, they really make up the web. Um, and what we position ourselves as is the, the image and video API for developers and the web or mobile apps or really any kind of project that utilizes the, those kind of assets. But I think where it really starts to become compelling is when you think about the scale of these things. So if you're just adding one or two images on your site, probably just makes sense to dump them in the public folder or however you want to do it. But when you start thinking about loading in maybe thousands of e-commerce uh, products into your website, having to deal with all those images and possibly videos all at scale becomes very challenging. Things like editing all of them where maybe you want them all to be the same shape and size, or maybe you're dealing with user generated content, UGC, where people are uploading their own content and how do you deal deal with and manage that. So uh, Cloudinary has a lot of tools and processes around that kind of workflow that just makes it easy to deal with those kind of things at scale. Very awesome. Yeah, I, I've worked with it some myself. I, I really enjoy it and nice. makes uh, doing some cool things with images that would, would take some time otherwise, for sure. Yeah. And uh, going back to kind of like the trends that you're talking about, I you know, I, I'm keeping my eye on AI because I think there is some interesting, I think that there's a lot of kind of fluff going around with it, to be honest, but I, some of the stuff that we're doing with AI is pretty compelling, uh, where generative fills a pretty common thing that you see in like Photoshop and, you know, those kind of tools. But the, what we have uh, in our pipeline is being able to do it with just like a little URL parameter uh, inside of the delivery URL or things like being able to uh, take an image and automatically get captions using AI or automatically tag them, those kind of things. And um, there's a lot of interesting AI based capabilities that we're coming out with that are actually compelling when you think again about that workflow and really trying to become more efficient and save time. Nice. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see all the use cases for that. And uh, sounds like you're already adding some in. That's great. Yeah. So right before we go, I definitely need you to tell everybody how they can find you on the web and all the places. It's not just your YouTube channel. I know you've got a blog and a few things going. Yeah, so pretty much everywhere at Colby Fayok, uh, but I do have my blog, spacejelly.dev. Uh, that's where I put all my tutorials. I do have my own personal blog, colbyfayok.com, but more of the tutorials are probably the interesting things. So spacejelly.dev for that. I like the Space Jelly branding. I, Thank it's, you. It's a great theme. I appreciate so, that. So definitely check out his blog as well. And I'll put all of this up on the screen or in a link in the description, but check out Colby on YouTube also. And although we're ending the video here, it's not really over because if you're a Patreon member, you're going to see a few more questions that Colby's going to answer as we continue this discussion. Hey guys, I recently started a Patreon and I'm already giving shout outs to Holy Coder, who is a progress provider and Eldad who joined at the senior member level. Also shout outs to all of the junior members that have joined. Thank you all so much. You're helping me reach my goals. And if you haven't joined, please check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Dave Gray. I've got exclusive content there that you won't find on YouTube. And I've also got early release content. Hope to see you there. Remember to keep striving for progress over perfection, and a little progress every day will go a very long way. Please give this video a like if it's helped you, and thank you for watching and subscribing. You're helping my channel grow. Have a great day, and let's write more code together very soon.